Welcome back everyone to Self Principle. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi and on this channel, we talk about all things related to nutrition and of course, kidney health. So with that, today we're going to dive into a fascinating study. This is one conducted by UNSW Sydney and what they were looking at was this concept of diet cycling, which is basically the practice of going between a healthy and an unhealthy diet and how it impacts specifically our memory. Sounds intriguing? All right, let's dive in. Now we've all been there sticking to our healthy meals, trying to make sure that we're exercising, sleeping more, and then the weekend comes around and we start to let loose and go back to those quote-unquote comfort foods. Now, the question today is, what is the impact of going back and forth in terms of our memory? Well, this is the question that Dr. Mike Kendig and Professor Margaret Morris wanted to uncover in their recent study. And what they did in this particular study was they used adult male rats as their study model. They tested the effects of a 16-day cycle of essentially standard chow compared to what they called a cafeteria diet, which was basically the standard chow plus all sorts of high fat, high sugar processed foods added into it. And the way they split up the 16 day cycle was either it was continuous or split into short or long cycles. So let's get into the results. The rats on the unhealthy diet, meaning the cafeteria diet, they had poor spatial memory performance, especially when they were on the unhealthy diet for longer periods. That makes sense. And we would expect part that becomes really interesting is, is that these same rats, when looked at their gut microbiome, there was significant decrease in the microbial diversity going on. In other words, it actually had significant changes in their gut microbiome. In addition to all of this, the rats on the junk food diet gained more weight than those on the healthy diet. But the length of the unhealthy eating didn't affect this part going on. So in other words, when you start to look at memory performance and gut health, these two things seem to be independent as far as weight gain is concerned. So the question is, is why did the unhealthy diet affect the rat's memory? Well, two reasons. First, the gut microbiome, the decrease in gut microbial diversity. And the second is, is inflammation. And both of these combined can make sense because we have so much other data to show the same thing. Now, of course, we need more study to fully understand all of these mechanisms. But the key takeaway here is that even subtle changes in our diet can affect how our brain functions. And so as you're thinking about your own lifestyle, realize that you don't want to go on a diet. You want to make sustainable changes that are habits. And if you fall down, if you mess up, if you go out and do whatever it is that you end up doing on those sort of cheat days that you call it, realize that in this study, shifting to a healthy diet for at least one week was required for recovery under the conditions of this particular study. So in other words, it took a week before the rat's performance on those spatial memory tests was back to where it was before. So bottom line here is we recommend sticking to mostly plants, making it more sustainable. And if you fall down, get back up and realize diet is a four letter word. What you're really looking for is lifestyle. So with that, folks, there you have it, a fascinating glimpse into the world of diet and cognition. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more health and nutrition updates from me. And until next time, eat healthy, stay smart, and take care.